Hello everyone, Mark here with Gulf of Communications, and in this video we're doing a quick tutorial on how to set up your 3CX server. So let's say you just got it, you installed it either in the cloud or on-premise, and now you're ready to install uh, your SIP provider. And so in this video we're going to give you a quick overview on how to do that. So whenever you first log in under the admin console, you're going to be on the dashboard here. What we'll do is we'll go to SIP trunks, we're going to click add SIP trunk, and you'll put in your country, and for us, we're in the U.S. And so we are going to select uh, town links, and we're going to use 501-760-9291 for our SIP trunk. Here, this is a, uh, obviously each provider may be different. We can give it as many or as little as we want as far as simultaneous calls. This is inbound and outbound calls. Um, for this type of provider, we're going to have to do a register slash account based. So what we'll do is we'll put that information in now. And if you're doing Telinks, you're not going to need this three-way authentication password. Uh, so you've got your extension where it can route to. So in this case, it's got a routing to my extension. You could send it to several different things. Um, what we can do is we can send it to a ring group, but we'll get into that later on. Calls from this number will route to my extension during and after hours. Note that if your authentication ID and password, you will find this in the portal of your SIP provider. You may have to create a SIP trunking profile, uh, and you may have to create an outbound profile too. That you have to do this with Telnix. You have to create an inbound SIP connection and an outbound profile. Um, if you had extra DIDs attached to those credentials, you could add additional DIDs. All of these settings you can leave by default. If you wanted to run SMS, you can do that as well, which we will be releasing a video soon on how to do that with uh, Telnix. Next, you can click OK. And it may take a few seconds, but it will register. If your credentials are not correct, you'll see a last field register. And if it doesn't, it will say register OK. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click this checkbox and we can go ahead and hit refresh registration. And as you can see here, it has confirmed and it is registered. And you can see that light there turned to green. So that means we're good. Um, inbound rules were actually set whenever we did the SIP trunk because you can see where it goes to my extension here. But now if you're going to make an outbound call from that extension, you're actually going to be running into issues. So what you've got to do is create outbound rules. So we'll go ahead and add our first one. We're going to want to go through Telinks, and what we'll do is we'll put in 10 digits, and we'll put plus one, and we'll make this 10. Then you can name that whatever you want. Uh, but I just put 10 down so that way, you know, for 10 digits, uh, for 11 digits, we'll do this and select here and put in 11. And we need to make sure that we go through Telinks for that. Whoops. Also make sure to name it. And 7. And so for this one, I... Uh, you could put your area code, so this way, whenever you have someone uh, dialing out, they are like, especially if it's locally, it will go ahead and do their area code. So in my example, my area code is 501, so I go ahead and put that in there. So that way, if a user types in a set of numbers, but they left the area code out, the system will automatically fill that in for them and complete the call. So we click OK there, and now go to your extension. Currently, my extension is inactive, but I can scan the QR code. Now I'm live on the extension, so I can make and receive calls. And for this demonstration purpose, we'll do a test call uh, to my main phone number. And as you can tell there, that was an active call that was going. Uh, if I call that number back, it will also, it would ring my cell. Uh, if you put the desktop client on your computer, it would ring that as well. Or if you wanted to use a desk phone, 
Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on 3CX by Gulf of Communications. If you are interested in demoing 3CX or want to purchase a license, feel free to reach out to us at info at golfa.com or give us a call 501-760-9290. We offer direct selling of 3CX for DIY users, and we also offer hosted VoIP solutions for those that are just looking for a turnkey solution.